The Norco High School baseball team was riding a 24 game winning streak heading into their second round playoff game against the Riverside Poly Bears. Could the Inland Valley League champions knock off the best from the Big Eight? Let's find out here on HS Game Time. I'm Pep Fernandez. The former league rivals now meeting in the playoffs. Pick things up in the first inning. Cole Young, the laser to left field, a two run homer. The shortest distance between two points is a straight line, and Young with a two-run homer puts Norco on the board first. Still in the first inning, Ruben Castaneda slicing the double to left field. Jesse Johnson scores three zip Cougars. To the second inning, the Bears down, but not out. Austin Owen ropes the double to right field. Drew Trailer charges home, and he is safe. Dirty at the dish. Polly is on the board, down three to one. Bottom of two, Kyle Hatton laces this base hit to right field. Hatton takes a double. Corey Treyas scores 4-1 to one Norco. Third inning now, Pauly's Jesse Abara singling up the middle. Here comes Luke Navagato to cross the plate, and that makes it a 4-2 to two ball game. Later in the third, Jake Nichols. The big fly to center field barely stays in the yard. Two-run score, and we're all tied up 4-4. Four to four. Still in the bottom of three, Trailer doubling to left center field. Nichols would score as Riverside Polly takes the lead five to four. The third inning continues when Owen slaps his ball to the gap in left center. It's like red in and out, double doubles for everyone. Trailer scores six to four, Polly in front. Bottom of three now, here come the Cougars. Castaneda delivers again, drives his ball into the right field corner. Johnson scores six to five. Polly still in the lead, but not for long. Norcos, Treyas with a hard grounder to the hole. Cody Covington scores, and we're even six to six. Still in the fourth, the Cougars. Johnson triples this ball into the right center field gap. Cole Young, come on down. Norco regains the lead by a score of seven to six. In the fifth, Polly's Owen with the grounder to second. That would play Evan Biberkester, and it's tied again, seven to seven. Still in the fifth, the Bears' Andrew Navagato singles the left. Nichols scores, and Polly is leading again, eight to seven. Later in the fifth, Luke Navagato sack fly to left brings home trailer, and the Bears boasting a nine to seven lead on Norco. But like two prize fighters exchanging punches in the ring, this would be the knockout blow. Kyle Hatton mashing a three run tater deep to right field and gone. Hatton watch. The long ball puts Norco up 11 to nine in the bottom of the fifth. The rally continues in the fifth for the Cougars as Covington doubles to get on board. So now with runners on second and third, Norco adds some insurance. Can I get a hot tub? And one more insurance run. Nolan Bayer, the sack fly to right, scores Johnson. That makes it 12-9 Cougars. Future USC Trojan Cole Young on the hill for Norco. He pitched the final two innings. Here's the final out of the game. And the Norco Cougars win 12-9 and will get Santa Margarita in the D1 quarterfinals on Friday. Before this game came in, like coming into this game, we, we knew this was going to be a tough one because... Paulie, they're a team that never gives up. I mean, they were in our league my freshman, sophomore year. Every time we played them, it was always a tough game. So, I mean, coming into this, I knew we were going to have to have our bats all around. I mean, I mean, props to them for sticking with us for so long. But, I mean, props to my guys as well for not giving up at all because, I mean, it could have went either way. Neither team gave up, and we just ended up getting some things going our way and ended up winning the ball game. So when they sent you to the hill to close this thing out, uh, were you glad to have the ball in your hands and yeah. you know and seal the deal? I mean, like, this is my this is probably one of the most favorite teams I've ever played. I've got all my friends on this team. <laughs> I mean, like, I was gonna do all I can to help make get my friends going because this is a great experience. I want to show all the younger guys on our team because we got a lot of young guys here. I want to show them what Norco baseball is all about. So I'm gonna give it all my all to this team because I love these guys out here. I'm gonna do everything I can. But hey, every time we put up runs, they answered back. They didn't fall down at all. They they weren't going down without a fight that game. What does it say about the character of this team? I mean, you guys battled back every time they'd score. <laughs> Bottom of five, you've got two guys aboard. Are you just trying to move them around, or are you just looking to go yard well, every, on that? Every at bat, they came in one pitch in, one fastball in. And I took two of them before, one for a strike and one for a ball. And they hadn't came in that at bat. So I was kind of, I had the idea they were going to come in, but I couldn't really sit on it because I had two strikes. But they came in, I just dropped the bat head on, and I was kind of waiting for it.